So you built an infrared uh, uh, spectroscopy unit for, for monitoring brain oxygenation. Oxygen, oxygenization, there we go. And so the sensor, how many channels do you have on the sensor up there? There are currently 36. 36 channels. And then you have the, the ever so cool PVC right. neck piece going down to the amplifier head stages over here. And what's on the other side is power. Yep, the main microcontroller. And the microcontroller. And all the wires are routed through the actual PVC, so there's actually no real exposed wires. I see, so everything, and, uh, and so, the back there's the gotcha, mesh. so you have, you have the, the sensor up here going down through there, so it's, so it's reasonably wearable and, not, and you're not getting right. all tangled up in it. Right, the idea was we wanted to move components where they had the most connections. So with the, for example, we have uh, the LED drivers at the top, we have about 36 local connections. So instead of putting the LED driver like, down here by the microcontroller, you can put them up on top, where uh -huh. actually all the connections can branch out in much shorter distances. Right. But eventually we have to pay the price of 36 of anything. So that's where all these wires came in that go right. to the actual photo transistor channels. Okay, and so you're going to pull on those two wires to pull it tight against your motor cortex. Right, right. And then, and then how do you monitor what's going on? So, uh, so we have it set up. Um, we, d we can display it in uh, one of three ways. Uh, we have uh, just a numerical value that represents the uh, the actual ADC uh, value sample taken. Um, we also have it set up to do real time plotting for all 36 channels, um, and then we also uh, made a like basically like a false color image thing that uh, will change uh, in real time according to the value for each ADC sample. Cool. And, and this is wireless to the computer, uh, yeah, or so wired to the computer, or what? I see. Okay, so there's going to be a, a USB uh, yeah. Yeah. connection. Wow, that is a lot of circuitry. Yeah, and we got about you know halfway through, then realized what happens when you multiply anything by 36. It just doesn't end well normally. It does. It is. It is a huge amount of a and huge it, amount of yeah. code and and. We definitely like if we do this again or anything. We want to do like a PCB version because you can save a lot more space and probably actually money to some extent because. Oh, we're, we were able to get this wire for essentially free. Um, if we had to buy all this wire, it would probably add up pretty quickly because it's, right. it's estimated over 100 feet of wire total. 100 feet of wire? Yeah. And I, see, I see you've tagged it all so you keep track yeah. of what's going on because otherwise you'd go insane trying to debug yeah. it. There's actually, there were about 10 wires we forgot to tag and that was annoying enough because we already yeah. piped it through and soldered it everywhere. Okay, so hook it up here.